Ayyayo, how on? Next week, got exam. Hey guys, check this out. ITTV, your home tutorial system. With more than 3,000 classroom video lessons and lab experiments, it makes learning easy. That's pretty cool. With ITTV, now we can study anytime and anywhere. Get your best study partner now at a special promotion. All major subjects are available at ittv.com.my. The battle for one of the biggest parliamentary constituencies in the country, Suramban, will see a five-cornered fight in GE13, with heavyweights from DAP and MCA. The seat with over 100,000 voters is not only tricky due to its size, but also its demography. The electorate in the mixed seat comprises 44% Malay voters and 41% Chinese voters, with Indian voters making up 14%. The leading contenders for the seat are DAP Negeri Sembilan Chief Anthony Lok and MCA Negeri Sembilan Chief Yao Chai Thiam which could make this a repeat of 2008 when both men contested the Rasa parliamentary seat with Lok beating Yao with a majority of over 13,000. Considering the demography of the seat, how will the candidates fare? Kini TV spoke to the frontrunners to find out. Malay community received uh, Barisan National very well and the Indian communities, also the, the support from them improved tremendously and we are very, very happy and very proud of the Malay community and the Indian community. As well as Chinese community, because of the chauvinistic attitude by the DAP, so they have already polluted the thinking of the Chinese. Well, I think uh, MCA is considering defeat as far as uh, the Chinese world is concerned. Uh, of course, I don't agree that it's brainwashed. I think uh, it's the Chinese has been uh, convinced that uh, they want change. And I think it's not just the Chinese. I think it's wishful thinking on the part of uh, MCA to think that it's only the Chinese who want change. I think across the board, all Malaysians want change, including uh, Malay and uh, Malay and uh, uh, Indian community. With Chinese voters making up almost half of the electorate in Suramban, could this spell disaster for MCA with them admitting the lack of support from the community? Yao thinks not. I must be very proud to say, even though we don't have a lot of improvement, because of bombarding attitudes of the DAP, giving the false information, false hope uh, to the Chinese, uh, so uh, within these three years, we managed to improve between 5 to 10 percent. But because recently of the massive uh, visit by the TPM, by the PM, so uh, and uh, plus the, all the good things, or the good works that have been done by the Barisan National, I think Chinese should be able to achieve 30 to 35 percent in Negeri Semilan. There are some areas might be a bit more. But MCA's Yao says he knows how to win back the Chinese vote. Chinese must be moved, must be touched by my charitable work and my sincerity. I'm honest in my work. I'm sincere in my work. I want to give them uh, convenience. I want to give them hope. With my effective services, I want to give, I want to give them happiness. So now during the campaign period, do you see that happening? Do you see them opening up to you? I can see. I can feel it. But as I said, Malay improve a lot. India and Europe, Chinese still have a little bit of time because Chinese tend to believe, tend to be, uh, tend to be bombarded with also false hope and uh, criticism, chauvinistic criticism and chauvinistic ideas by the DAPs. On the other hand, DAPs look says so far the support has been encouraging. Well, uh, I think uh, it has been pretty good, uh, especially I think our nightly charama has been well received by the people. Uh, uh, Two, three nights ago, we had one big charama in uh, Sremban Market, in front of the Sremban Market, where about 10,000 people turned up. So I think that is a good sign uh, for us. So how is the, uh, the reception of Malay community here? Well, uh, we have uh, went, went around and uh, do some, uh, what I call it, uh, visiting house to house and so on. Well, the, re the, the feedback that I received has been encouraging so, so far. Of course, the Malay don't show their support uh, so openly. Uh, but and when I shake hand with them, uh, I can feel I mean the the enthusiasm and the uh, the reception towards us. I think it, this is something uh, uh, quite uh, good for the DAP. And in the past, that uh, we have hardly uh, uh, what I call it have any presence in the Malay area. Uh, in the past, where we even want to go into the Malay areas, we have difficulties. But right now, we have no difficulties at all because we are going in together with PAS and PKR. And uh, as far as the Malay community, the Malay uh, win and Malay swing is concerned, I think it's yet to be seen. Uh, we hope that uh, on Tuesday, where Anwar Ibrahim will be coming to Sremban, uh, the Cherama will be a good sign, will be a good indicator as of how, how far the Malay, Malay words will go. 
Incumbent Sromban MP John Fernandez, who has quit DAP, will be contesting as an independent in GE13 for the seat he won in 2008 with a majority of 3,948. But Lok and Yao believe he will play a minor part this time around. And uh, John Fernandez will be contesting as an independent now. Do you think that would affect the MP's chances? No. Why, why not? Well, I think he's just irrelevant. Okay, so that's Yeah. I, uh... I do not want to win because John affect DAP. I want to win on my own credibility, my capability, my sincerity, my faithfulness to the people, and my honesty, but and plus my good service with my good heart. There is hati yang mulia, berni dan suci. The other candidates are Abdul Halim Abdullah from Burjasa and independent Bujang Bin Abu. But ultimately, this five-cornered fight for Suramban looks set to be between the might of Barisan National and the wit of DAP. Prasad Michael, Kini TV.